Okay guys, so in this video I just want to address uh, some of the feedback that I've been receiving from one of my older videos I posted a few months ago. Um, I was talking about the experience I've had so far with um, working for or delivering for City Sprint as a part-time courier with my vehicle. Now one of the, um, the big questions I've been receiving over and over again is basically how many hours have I, did I have to work to earn, earn a certain amount of money? One of the questions was how many hours do you have to work to earn a thousand pounds one week? And I will say again, like this is a point that I made in response to those comments because I did reply. I said, it isn't dependent on how many hours you do, but rather it depends on how many jobs you receive in one day, in one week, in a month. It depends on how many jobs you receive and also the distance that's required to pick up an item and deliver the item. The, the you know will determine the salary you receive for any for, for a day or for a week really is how many jobs you receive and the mileage that you have to cover to complete that job let me put it that way, it's a lot simpler to understand i'll give you an example there was one evening just about a month and a half ago now i was in the city of london the central london area near st paul's cathedral and st bartholomew's hospital i nearly finished for the day and it was about 7 30 in the evening and i received a call from the office and they asked me if i can pick up an item from an office near um in the st paul's area and deliver it for all the way from there to Bradford in West Yorkshire, which was a county around the other near the other end of England. And for the job, I was going to be paid approximately three hundred pounds. Now that's the sort of salary that most couriers and drivers, um, depending on how many hours they not hours, but depending on how many jobs they do in a day, potentially that's um, what they could potentially earn in a day or a week. But again, that's a you can see it's a long distance job, requires a lot of miles because they're traveling from one county right up to, you're going to pass through so many, basically, not as complicated, but you're going to pass through many counties and it's going to be a very long, long distance job. You're going to cover a lot of miles, a lot of, a lot of wear and tear to your vehicle and yet to, to deliver the item. And all the item was just, all the item was was basically just documentation mere, mere um, A4 sheets of paper from an office in the city of London, in central London, right over to another city in another part of the country. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of miles involved in that job, you know, and for the money they're paying, that sort of money you'd, uh, for me anyway, potentially that's what I, I would earn in one week. So, you know, again, it depends on how many jobs you get, the mileage involved. Sometimes a job would pay more than one job on its own on its own could potentially pay more than five other jobs or ten other jobs you've had in ten other jobs you've had in the same day so it depends on the number of jobs you do and the mileage involved not the number of hours you work that's how it works in this source of um the source of field of work in the logistics in the logistics trade really and the gig economy is like that you don't really get the same sorts of rights employees get if they're employed directly by the company so in this case i'm working as, as almost like a subcontract so contracts of um with city sprint not for city sprint they give me the work i complete myself however i want but they do give me a deadline of course a time frame in which i have to complete the work so you don't get the uh, as um you're not an employee you don't get a set number of hours, a guaranteed number of hours. You don't get a set salary, a guaranteed salary. Unfortunately, that's um, what it, that's what it's like. Of course, the more hours you put in, I will say this, the more hours you put in, there's a greater potential you could earn more because then you would get more work. But the more hours you put in doesn't necessarily, um, doesn't necessarily guarantee that you're going to get more work on any given day because you do get your good days and your bad days. It depends on but it, whether um, if people are um, ordering and delivering a lot of things on that day, during that week or or during that month, you know, so it does have its highs and lows. But I just want to clear that up because I'm getting lots of feedback from uh, one of my previous videos and a lot of people were almost sounding so angry in the comment section. I, I'd have to explain and re-explain and explain everything to the bare detail, to the bare raw detail about how the whole thing works. So I just want to make that clear in this video and so yes guys um i do have a podcast um a podcast should i say coming up uh with a few friends um well i say one friend who i one guy who i do know um and uh basically it's based about based around mma and combat sports ever since i've started kickboxing my love for the mma sports has uh grown despite how brutal <laughs> brutal uh, the sport can be and uh yeah it's going to be um um, we're going to be talking a lot, a lot about that, about MMA and boxing and other similar sports as well. But that is in the works and that is going to happen. Um, I just need to get a time that I'm going to be free and that time that he's going to be free so we can both make them, the whole thing happen. Um, so yes, guys, 
if you did enjoy the video please leave a like and please do not forget to subscribe and you can find me on instagram my name is ikeojako1 on instagram and on twitter and facebook my name is ikeojako thank you very much